a new virus is killing in China, while China's military is on the move. Plus, can things really get worse? That and more on this week's China News Headline. This is China Uncensored, I'm Chris Chappell. This episode is sponsored by Surfshark, because you should be using a reliable VPN whenever you go online. So, you know, it's as if things couldn't get any worse. My generation grew up with the threat of global terrorism, came of age during a global financial meltdown, and now we're trying to raise kids in a pandemic. On top of all that, a giant asteroid is going to fly by the Earth next month. NASA says it won't hit us, but can we really trust NASA? I mean, NASA covered up how the aliens killed JFK on 9-11. Think it can't get worse? Bears are coming out of hibernation early. Bears. Go back to sleep, bears. There's nothing out here for you. And now, potentially more deadly than the CCP coronavirus, or CCP virus for short, a new virus has emerged in China. Okay, hantavirus is not new, it's just newly emerging. Again. There have been outbreaks before. According to a Swedish scientist, it spreads from rats or mice if humans ingest their bodily fluids. Human-human transmission is rare. Please do not panic unless you plan to eat rats. What else am I supposed to eat? I live in New York City. Rats are all that's left after hoarders took the bread. Well. There's still plenty of gluten-free bread, but clearly we'd all rather eat rats. What's that, Shelley? There are actually several types of hantaviruses that can cause different diseases, and I can get sick from just breathing the air around contaminated rodent droppings? I'm never taking the subway again. What's that, Shelley? Subway rats don't carry hantavirus. Oh, good. So I can still eat them. According to the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, Hantavirus infections are rare, but the types of hantaviruses most commonly seen in Asia have anywhere from a 1 to 15 percent mortality rate. That's potentially much higher than the CCP virus, though communism itself also has a very high mortality rate. Speaking of which, China has lifted travel restrictions in Hubei province. Hubei is the epicenter of the coronavirus, unless you believe the Chinese Communist Party when they say it really began in America. And I thought NASA conspiracy theories were intense. Tens of millions of people in Hubei province have been under lockdown for two months. But China's National Health Commission said there were no new coronavirus infections, and so the restrictions could be lifted. And when have Chinese authorities ever lied about numbers? However, as we've reported before, there could be a second wave of the CCP virus already spreading inside China. As the lockdown is lifted, people who have the CCP virus but aren't showing symptoms could continue to spread it around China and the world. But if you're concerned about the Chinese Communist Party doing another round of coronavirus cover-ups, don't be. China's Premier Li Keqiang is warning local officials, no second cover-up. So if any local officials are currently covering it up, the solution is simple. They should cover up their cover-up. But Chinese officials are very concerned about a second wave of infections. That's why they just issued this statement banning all foreigners from entering China, even with a valid visa. Hey, remember when China and the WHO were telling everyone travel bans were unnecessary? And a Chinese diplomat compared travel bans to turning away Jewish refugees during the Holocaust? Yeah, that happened. Meanwhile, a concerned Chinese father has created a safety pod for his baby. This baby safety pod is modified from a cat carrier backpack. It has an electronic fan system. It can offer a totally isolated environment when going out. It can provide a safe and comfortable environment for the baby. So people around the world are isolating themselves, practicing social distancing, and avoiding contact with others, while this guy runs around with a baby pod? I guess we're living in Death Stranding now. Great! The CCP virus has devastated the world. So isn't it nice that the CCP, the Chinese Communist Party, is selflessly extending a helping hand to countries around the world in the global battle against COVID-19? As state-run media says, 
the Chinese government has announced that it will provide medical supplies to 82 countries. Which makes it sound like they're donating supplies, doesn't it? But in most cases, they're not actually donating them. The countries have to pay for them. Now, it's not a problem for the Chinese government to sell medical supplies. That's fine. But then using that as propaganda to make it sound like they're generously donating supplies and saving the world from the disease that they caused? That's low. Incidentally, 80% of coronavirus test kits gifted, aka sold, to the Czech Republic by China didn't work. Shots were fired as Chinese boats rammed a Taiwanese Coast Guard vessel. And that was the second time this month. On top of all the military harassment of Taiwan, Taiwan's government says China has intentionally hampered its efforts to get virus information direct from the World Health Organization. China blocks Taiwan's WHO membership as it considers the island merely one of its provinces. Shameless and disgusting is what the CCP called Taiwan. A Chinese official said the use of the epidemic to stir up cross-Taiwan strait confrontations at a time when the outbreak in Taiwan is picking up is shameless and disgusting. And again, for clarity, that was the Chinese Communist Party criticizing Taiwan for being shameless and disgusting. That's like the pot calling the magical pink unicorn black. Meanwhile, China's maritime militia is fanning out in disputed territorial waters in the South China Sea. We did a whole episode about the maritime militia back in September. They're a fun bunch. The point is, just because you expose the world to a deadly pandemic doesn't mean you can't keep throwing gasoline on the fire. Wow, reminds me of Twitter. I wonder if there is some kind of catastrophe the Chinese Communist Party is trying to distract people from. Last week I told you that the Chinese government kicked out reporters from the New York Times, Wall Street Journal, and Washington Post. Well, this week, the papers penned this open letter, begging the Chinese regime to let them back in. I mean, what the Chinese Communist Party did to them was really unfair. I mean, all three papers had tried so hard to be good to the Communist Party, like by not covering sensitive topics and by letting the Communist Party directly put propaganda in their newspapers as paid advertising. You really want the Chinese Communist Party to let you back in? Start writing articles about how the party kills Falun Gong and Uyghurs for their organs. Put those on the front page. Do it every day. Pretty soon, the party will figure out it's better to have you in China, where they can still control you. China has launched three new military surveillance satellites into orbit. But despite the success, celebration was muted as technicians applied appropriate social distancing. Now while Chinese military surveillance satellites may sound scary, don't worry. They will be used for electromagnetic environment detection and related technological tests. Just trust the Chinese military. And with the knowledge the Chinese military has a bunch of surveillance satellites overhead, I think now's a good time to tell you about the VPN Surfshark. When you go online, everything you do is being tracked and logged by the websites you visit and by your internet service provider. In many cases, by the government. And if you're in an authoritarian country like China, this kind of tracking can put you at risk of surveillance and even arrest. So I recommend you use Surfshark to protect yourself online. When you use Surfshark's clean web mode, you'll be protected from trackers, plus a lot of ads and malware. And with Surfshark, you can connect as many devices as you want. Try it out with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Surfshark has a special discount for China Uncensored fans. Go to Surfshark.com uncensored and use the code uncensored to get 83% off a two-year plan and one extra month free. Protect yourself online today. Click the link below. Once again, I'm Chris Chappell. See you next time.